Walk into the Silcox nine-bedroom home in Orange County, California. Hi. And you understand the meaning of controlled chaos. Chris, you go that way, I go this way, you go this way. There are kids everywhere playing video games, doing homework, Math. and getting ready for dinner. The first of three shifts. So you want to play a game after we eat? Yeah. Come on. There are 25 children in this household. Because you don't want to go to school naked. 25 boys, ranging in age from 3 Good job. to 25. And where it says employer, you just put student. George Abused, abandoned, and disabled, they were all considered unadoptable until Ann Bellis found them. She's wanted to help the unwanted since she was just a kid herself. When I was younger, I saw the movie Oliver. It was a musical that came out in the late 60s. And I was really uh, intrigued and consumed by the whole idea of orphans and, you know, taking kids out of orphanages. Yes, I do anything, anything, anything for you. When we walked out of the theater, I told my mom, ah, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to adopt orphan boys. She was six then. By 19, she had started taking in foster children. Now age 40, she has her hands full. Today, Anne is seeing her dream play out with a little unexpected twist. Would you rob a shop? Thirteen of her 25 children are rehearsing for a local theater production. The play? That's right, Oliver. Anne doesn't focus on what her kids can't do, only on what they can. They go to mainstream schools, take karate. Even the most severely disabled are on the roller rink. And they're all actors. Many have acted in commercials, and 17-year-old Hunter has appeared in three episodes of Boston Public. Bye, I'll see you later. They have learning disabilities and physical disabilities and, and emotional disabilities and medical disabilities, and so they're not going to be your the soccer star at school or the, the on the debate team and but um, acting has given them a venue to be successful to build their self-esteem to do something unusual and to get recognized for that in a positive way it really does take a village to raise this many kids a small army of child care workers nurses and volunteers comes in daily to cook and clean wash 30 loads of laundry a day and take care of the kids chronic health needs if you take a bath, we can read one more book, okay? For Anne, doing it right means encouraging the kids to develop their skills so that one day they can live independently. Hi. The five oldest have already moved into their own homes. So is this your first time here? Yeah? Anthony is the first Silcock boy to get a paying job. Do not move at any time, and if you feel scared, let me know, okay? He operates exhibits at this California Science Museum. What's your favorite thing to do here? Edit nails. Betty Nails? Born with spina bifida, Anthony spent his life bouncing between institutions and foster homes. By age 17, he was considered unadoptable. It didn't matter to us that he was 17. He, we've adopted um, kids that are 18, 19, 20 years old who still want parents. And when Anthony transitions from our family to his own home and gets married or, or whatever he does in his life, we'll, he'll still have a mom and dad to come home to. He'll still have brothers that will be um, part of his life. You know, they're there whenever, you know, I need something. They're, they're behind me if I, you know, if I need support. Five minivans cost $2,000 a month to run. Their 14 paid helpers, 15000 a month. More than 10000 goes for tutors, orthodontia, therapy, and nurses. And we haven't even mentioned the cost of clothing, insurance, or their mortgage. Well, like any family, I think, probably most large families, we do struggle. Their business, run out of their home, provides staff and support to help disabled adults live independently. But Ann says they couldn't do it without the funding they receive through the Federal Adoption Assistance Program. Every bit of income that we have, every bit of money that comes into our family is spent on the children. That's what's important to me. I mean, truly, I own one pair of shoes and one pair of long pants, and I'm not into that. I don't have jewelry. I don't, I don't have a fancy car. My car is a, a van with a wheelchair lift. This spring, she'll be adding to the cast by adopting three more boys from Russia. 
they'll join Anne's group of all-stars. On stage at this performance of Oliver, her boys will be orphans, but this time, it's only make-believe. This was my dream, and, and everything about what I'm doing now was everything that I wanted to happen in my life, so absolutely no regrets. This is perfect. I couldn't ask for it to be better. Maybe a bigger house, you know, would be, <laughs> would be nice.